I can't believe this is your first time here. I am an Ellen Virgin. Yes, you Which are. I am breaking today. Yeah. I'm so psyched about it. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so glad to be here, Ellen DeGeneres. Well, we have we have mutual friends. I've, I've known you for a long time. Yes. I've known you uh, through uh, someone named Oprah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, I hear you and Oprah are very tight. That's what I heard. Yeah, I don't know how that, tight we are. She's got no, so many friends now. I heard, no, no, no. She doesn't have a lot of friends. She knows a lot of people. But when it comes to friends, that's a very small group. So I heard you guys are very tight. So I came bearing gifts. Is that OK? Audience, I came bearing gifts for Ellen. That's OK, well, right? Yeah. OK, because this is the thing. When you go to Oprah's house, there is something that she'd like friends to wear. And it only goes to very close friends. So I got this for you, Ellen, because. I think next time when you go to visit, here, you hold it up. OK, now. I sure will. This is what she likes people to wear? Yes. <laughs> now, now, it's one size fits all. Right. We can have it sized to you, though, because I think don't you want to go to Oprah's house wearing that? And we also brought a slow-mo version, because I know that you like to run in slow, ver slow motion. I bought a slow motion video. Where is it, Ed? Really? Yes, I did. A slow this motion is video? <laughs> this, this is my assistant, Joseph, at the magazine. He did this for you, Ellen. So you'll know when you go to Oprah's house. To run like that? Yes. <laughs> it, in, it's it's in, so natural. Into her arms like yeah. that? I am going to wear that when I go to our house. Yes, I brought it for you. No, how many of those exist? Well, this is the second one. <laughs> yeah. I, I have one, and now and so now do I you. And now I have one. Let's go there together. Yes, you're, you're welcome. Let's go there together and yeah, wear it. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're it's so me. I'm so excited to be here, really. I'm, Thank I really, you so much. I'm, I'm so excited to have you here. I'm, you know, I love you. I think you're fantastic and super smart and funny and all those things. Thanks. Um, so at the party, at the birthday party, I understand. What birthday party? A little are you birthday about? party that we had. Um, Portia and I had a, a birthday party, and, and Gail was there. And I don't like to name drop, but I have to tell you guys, it was one of the best birthday parties ever. <laughs> Everywhere you look, there was, hey, there's so-and-so, there's so-and-so, there's so-and-so. It was great. It was it, a beautiful tribute to you that night. It was fun. It was yeah, really fun. Yeah, yeah, So I, I understand. So Amy Schumer, yes. when, there was, there, there may have been some marijuana being smoked around the place. And Amy well, Schumer. Well, there was a smell there, I have to say. Yes, it was a strong yes. smell. Um, and so Amy Schumer now is, is like set on smoking pot with you. Well, this is the thing. So I went over to say hi to Amy Schumer, and Amy says, See that guy over there? Now, keep in mind, the party's Saturday. Saturday night, as you remember. Amy Schumer says to me, see that guy over there? I'm going to marry him on Tuesday. That, that guy over there? She goes, yeah. So I went over to the guy. I said, hi, my name is Gail. I was just talking to Amy. She says she's going to marry you on Tuesday. Is that true? He goes, well, yes. As a matter of fact, it is. So I thought I was being punked at the Ellen party. I really did. I said, where's the camera? Turns out she did get married on Tuesday. She said, you want to come? So we had a conversation later about marijuana. And I said, I've never smoked a marijuana cigarette. I never have. Maybe that's part of the problem. Cigarette. I see you <laughs> laughing at me. I heard you. A marijuana goes, cigarette. <laughs> yeah. You right there. I heard you. Josie said. And Amy goes, well, we have to do something about that. I just never have, Ellen. I'm a right. big square. I right. Am. But, but listen, you're willing to try it? I would try it. I would try with Amy, but I, I don't intend to do it publicly. I said I would do it with Amy. It's Oprah, legal. Oprah has also smoked a little marijuana, too. I don't mind saying that. Yeah. Does I'm, she, not, I'm not telling tales out of school. Does she like it? Does, does, does Oprah like I it? I refuse to answer on the ground. Oh. To incriminate, incriminate her. Okay. No. All right, Trump. Is um, it, uh, <laughs> it's not something that happens on her. I'm going to change the subject. All right. So how are you? I'm, OK. <laughs> but you're, you are going to try it. Listen, I have set no date, no time. I've gone all this time without smoking it. I don't feel like I'm missing. Am I missing something, Ellen? Well, for some Somebody people, said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some people really, really like it, and it, but it puts you. To me, I don't like feeling out of control, yeah, and to see, me, that's me how I feel. It doesn't relax me. It makes me feel. But anyway, Amy, come on out because it's time. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. We would just make you smoke on the show, like. It's legal in California. We could do that. But um, we don't, I'm sure my writers don't have some. Don't do that, Ellen. Don't yeah. do that. <laughs> my writers have some laying around if you want some. I... <laughs> no, Ellen, I prefer to be high on life. That's what I prefer to be. Yes, that's the... I'm not trying to be a but I do. I do. I'm yeah. so, you must feel this. 
I'm so glad to be on the planet doing the jobs that we do. Honestly, yeah. I go to work every day, and I'm so excited to be there. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that. I really do. I really am. I'm, I've always been a happy kind of kid. Always. Yeah. Always. You do seem happy, and I you seem, am. and you do seem like you love your job. You seem very, very present. Yes. At all times. It's You're, true. You listen, and and it's, true. it's very. I it's, try to be. It's very obvious. You know, you, the news is crazy these days. So is you got to be present. Yeah. <laughs> Have you heard? <laughs> so you got to be present and focused. Yeah. Yeah. So you took a segment that's on yes. your show. The show is great, by the way. Thanks. It's, it's thanks. CBS Morning News is really, really good. Um, and there's a segment on the show, uh, Note to Self, and. And, and now there's a book, and it's, well, tell people about well, it. Well, you know, the thing is, the note to self, it's one of our most popular segments on the show. It's where you take famous people, or people that aren't so famous, that have learned something in their lives that took them from A to B. So we ask you to write a note to yourself, like, what would you tell your younger self? And my favorite, I, I talk about this guy, he's a, a football player, Ryan O'Callaghan, who was gay and was very afraid that so much so that he thought about committing suicide. And I was so touched by his note in particular because he's this big hulking guy, very macho, and he felt that he he felt that he couldn't tell anybody, he felt that he couldn't be himself. So I was very moved by him and very moved by John Lewis. But they're they're all really good because yep. people take it seriously, Ellen. When you when you you should do this, you should do this. Think about what would be your note to your younger self. When you start thinking about how your life has evolved or what you learned along the way, there really are a lot of life lessons there. Yeah. It's, it's really, I'm very proud of what we do at CBS this morning and this in particular. Yeah, you should be proud. It's, a, I mean, yeah. really, you can just flip through it and, and it's just so easy to read. They're, they're yes. really short stories and everybody in With here is interesting. Yeah. All right, so you're going to uh, cover the royal wedding. Yes. Is that exciting for you? Yes. Uh, <laughs> now, now, let me tell you something. <laughs> I did a one-hour special, so I was already in England getting ready for it. But I'm going to be standing on a balcony, watching the procession. I'm going to keep it classy and go, hey, Harry! <laughs> hey, Megan! Over here! <laughs> but this is a question. You're supposed to, well, I'm going to wear a fascinator. We're going to be on the air, Ellen, live for six hours. Oh, my God. That's what I'll say. I'd wear a diaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> six hours. So I'm toying with this. Do I change fascinators every hour just to amuse myself? What are fascinators? Are you being serious? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the little hats. Yeah. Oh, that's what we got you then. Because we, we got you one, but I didn't know it was called a fascinator. No, I, did you get me one? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, it's, um... Oh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. They'll notice you now. Ellen. Yeah. Yes. Now you they'll guys, notice you. You guys, it has Ellen, Harry, and Megan on it. I don't yeah. know. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Here's what I want. I will wear this. I want you to, to uh, wear your caftan and <laughs> yeah. that hat and smoke some pot. Yes. And I want, you to, I want you to look in the mirror wearing the caftan. You just don't caft want me to have a job, do you? <laughs> well, I could come over here and work with you. I would, your your uh, staff is very nice. Your team is fantastic. Yeah, I have a great group of people here. All right, well, I love you. I thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Always Ellen, great seeing you. Thank you so much. Watch Gail every day on CBS This Morning. Everyone is going home with this wonderful book. It's called Note to Self.